Hello friends, welcome to Photoshop video tutorial series. I double click on Photoshop icon to launch the Photoshop application. You can see that the Photoshop application got open. I go to file, say open and then I locate an image to open. I click on the image, then I click on open button to open the image in Photoshop. I click on the move tool. You can see the move tool is active now. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss hand tool. The shortcut key is H. If you go to the Photoshop, in the tool box, just above the zoom tool, you find hand tool and the shortcut key is H. The meaning is, if any other tool is active, you should press the H key. I am pressing the H key. You can see that we are switched to hand tool. Now the hand tool is active. If any other tool is active, now the brush tool is active. I press the H key. You can see that hand tool is active now. Let me click on the move tool again. Go back to the word document. Now hand cursor in Photoshop indicates the hand tool. Now the hand tool is a tool group friends. You can see here hand tool has here at the bottom right corner one small triangle that indicates that it's a tool group. If I right click you can see the hidden tools. There is one more tool called as rotate view tool. About this tool we see in the next tutorial. I click outside. Now I click on the move tool again. Let's go back to the word document. Hand tool is used to navigate around an image. When the image is zoomed in more, you can navigate around the image. Now how to use it? To use it, hold down the left mouse button, drag the image and let go the left mouse button. Repeat until you navigate to required image area. That means I go to the Photoshop. I click on the zoom tool and click on the face of this statue. You can see we are zooming in. Most of the image area is not visible to us now. To navigate around an image, I can use these scroll bars, horizontal and vertical scroll bars I can use to navigate around. Now I can see the lamp, right? I want to navigate to the face of the statue. Then what I do, I activate the hand tool. That means I can press the H key. You can see I have switched to the hand tool. And then I hold down the left mouse button. And then I start dragging, let go the left mouse button. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it, let go the left mouse button. Hold down the left mouse button, drag it and let go the left mouse button. Once I see the image area that I want to navigate, we got that place, right? That is how you can use the hand tool. You can hold down the left mouse button, drag the image, let go the left mouse button. Very simple. Click, hold down and drag like that. You can perform the operation. You can navigate around an image very easily. Okay. Next, we have four buttons which are most important. So already we have seen these buttons when we learned the zoom tool. Actual pixels displays the image at zoom level 100%. You can use the shortcut key control 1 or double click on the zoom tool. That means if it is zoomed more, so I am using the zoom tool, I click on the image and if I go to hand tool and click on actual pixels, the image is zoomed to 100%. I click on fit screen, you can see the image is fit in the screen area. If I use the shortcut key control 1, I press control 1, you can see image is zoomed to 100%. Again I click on the fit screen button. If I double click on the zoom tool, we know that the image will be fit to 100%. So if I double click on the zoom tool, you can see the image is zoomed to 100%. Let me go to the hand tool and click on fit screen. The next button we have is a fit screen fits the image in the work area so that we can see the complete image, right? We can use the shortcut key control zero or we double click on the hand tool. That means if the image is 100%, right? If I click on fit screen, you can see the image got fit screen. I click on actual pixels. I can use the shortcut key control zero. I press control zero. You can see again the image is fit in the screen. I click on actual pixels. Now the image is at 100% zoom level. If I double click on the hand tool, if I double click on the hand tool, that also makes the image fit on screen. Double click on the zoom tool, 100%. Double click on the hand tool, fit screen, right? Let's proceed further. Fill screen zooms the image to fill complete available work area. Some part of the image might not be visible. That means if I click on fill screen, the image is filled. Now some part of the image is not visible. You can use the hand tool, hold down the left mouse button and drag the image down so that you can see the hidden area. 
hold down the left mouse button, drag the image, let go the left mouse button. Like that you can use the hand tool for navigating around an image friends. Okay, let's proceed further. Next button we have is a print size. If you click on that, it displays the image at its print size based on the image resolution. If I go to Photoshop, click on print size. That is the print size of the image. Now I can drag like this. I can navigate around the image if I want. Okay, let's proceed further. Next, we talk about modifier keys. Shift key temporarily enables scroll all windows option. If you see here, just beside the hand tool, you can see scroll all windows option is there in the option bar. Now what's the purpose of that is, for example, I duplicate the image. I go to image and say duplicate. I say OK to create one more duplicate and I click and drag this outside to make it a free floating image. I click and drag it outside to make it a free floating image. Now we have two windows which are free floating, right? If I click and drag this image, only this image is navigating, right? Only we are navigating around an image which is active and it is at present zoomed to 100%, right? It is at present zoomed to 100%. I say fit screen. And then I say actual pixels. It is now 100% zoomed in. Let me go to this window. I say fit screen and I say actual pixels. Now it is also 100% zoomed in. Now we have two images, one beside another you can see, right? If I have to navigate both the images at a time, then I have to enable scroll all windows. If I click on scroll all windows and hold down the left mouse button and start dragging, you can see both window images are moving, right? If I click on this window and drag it down like this, you can see both window images are moving, right? If scroll all windows is not checked, then only active image is going to be moved. So if I move this image, you can see only the active window image we can move or navigate around. I hope you guys have understood what is the difference between scroll all windows checked and not checked. You need not to go to the option bar and select it. You can use the shift key also. If you hold down the shift key, when the hand tool is active, if you hold down the shift key and click and drag, you can see both window images are navigating or moving, right? We can be able to move around. We can compare both the images like that, right? I hope you guys are understanding. Okay, I'm holding down the shift key. Once I left go the shift key, Scroll all windows is disabled. Only one image we can navigate. The active window image we can navigate around. Okay, hope you guys have understood. Let me close one window. I select this window and close it. I say no and I dock this image back to its place. That is the meaning of scroll all windows and how the shift key help you to temporarily enable the scroll all windows option. The next space bar key, holding down the space bar key temporarily enables the hand tool. That means you need not to press the H key. For example, now you are at the move tool. The move tool is active. You need not to press the H key. If you just hold down the space bar key, temporarily you get the hand tool so that you can navigate around the image like that. And if you let go the space bar, you are back to the move tool. Now maybe you are having the zoom tool active. Now the zoom tool is active. I zoom in more. I hold down the space bar to get the hand tool, navigate around like this. Right. Once I let go the space bar key, we get back to the zoom in tool. That is the space bar key. Control space bar, we already know that holding down both the control and space bar key temporarily enable the zoom in tool. That means if you are on any other tool, if you have maybe move tool is active. If you hold down the control space bar, we get the zoom in tool. And if I hold down the control space bar and alt, we get the zoom out tool. If I click the image is getting zoomed out, you can see that, right? If I let go all three keys, we are back to the move tool. If I hold down the space bar key, hand tool is active. You can see we can navigate around, right? I let go the space bar key, we are back to the move tool. So that is how you can activate the hand tool by pressing the space bar, control space bar to zoom in tool, control space bar and alt key to get the zoom out tool that I have listed here. So space bar key for hand tool, control plus space bar key for zoom in tool, control space bar and alt key for zoom out tool. Hope you guys have understood how to use the hand tool. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. 
I suggest you people to try using the zoom tool and hand tool all shortcut keys. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.